Hey guys, this is Dirt Junkie. Today I wanted to throw a few tips out there for um, uh, getting off ledges. Okay guys, so like everything else, there's probably a thousand different ways to ride off ledges depending on the situation, but I'm going to focus on two main ways that I think can be applied in most situations. The first is a more controlled approach where you're trying to just barely clear the skid plate and uh, you're going usually a bit a lot slower. And um, this is great for hill descents, especially where you have obstacles or something ahead that you don't want to fly off a ledge and carry way too much speed into. So let's get into slow and controlled. This is the move that I'm going to break down. Let's go back. I'm going to pause it and uh, notice how far forward I am over the handlebars. This is one of very few techniques that I do where I'm so far from the neutral position when I start. And um, the, the reason for that is you're really just trying to barely clear the skid plate. Even if you rub the skid plate a little bit on the way down, that's totally fine. Um, you're, you know, as long as you clear the skid plate so that this doesn't happen, um, the goal is to minimize the impact to the front end. And being, being so far forward like that allows me to use the leverages in my favor where um, as soon as I'm rolling off the ledge I'm pushing myself away from the handlebars and the natural tendency is the bike will want to sort of rotate and I'm really just throwing the bike down and that pushing that pushing myself away from the handlebars helps to uh, helps to clear the skid plate alone and then just adding in the tiniest blip of throttle that's really all there is to it there's not a lot of preloading or anything like that happening just kind of leaning forward and throwing the bike down if you use too much throttle or if you preload what can happen is you end up carrying the front wheel off the obstacle and then dropping it and that can result in a harder landing and maybe even going over the bars on a taller obstacle um, so the goal is really just to push the front end down in as short a distance as possible um, while just barely clearing the skid plate Okay, the next technique is one that you've probably already been doing for ages, not thinking about it, but um, let's jump into it. So the main thing here is landing the bike kind of level off the ledge. Um, you're going to carry a lot more speed, um, but you're not going to drop the front wheel, which is needed for larger obstacles, uh, or if you just want to carry more speed, unlike the last technique, which is a very slow technique. So it's pretty straightforward. So if you're already going at a pretty quick pace, there's not much you need to do as far as uh, preloading the suspension. In that case, you're usually just keeping a neutral body positioning and steady throttle until your back wheel leaves the ledge for the most part. If you are going slower, that's when you need a bit of pre-weighting with the suspension. So as you're squatting into the foot pegs, you know, be rolling on the throttle and letting out on the clutch and trying to keep a steady throttle until the back tire is about to leave the ledge. And uh, trying to keep a neutral body positioning throughout it as well. That way you have room to adjust if needed. So for instance, if you do drop the front wheel a little bit lower than you intended, you know, you can, you can bring your body weight to the back and, and help, uh, help keep it from dropping anymore. Okay, um, this isn't a bike setup vi video, but I just want to give you a co another couple tips here. Um, and that is, you know, lever position mainly. So you want to have your levers, clutch and brake, as close to level like this, as, you know, horizontal um, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, as you're comfortable with. You know, I run mine just a bit down from, from you know, being completely horizontal. So some people... And I used to do this too, like to run the levers way down here, thinking that it's more ergonomic for standing, but it's really not. Um, and you'll just have to try it both ways if you don't believe me. And what this is, what this position will do, sitting or standing, it's just going to wear you out faster, and you're not going to be able to get to your lever when <laughs> in every position. I mean, you're not going to be standing 100% of the time. Um, sometimes sitting is perfectly valid, and you can't really get to your levers properly in a lot of positions with your levers way down there like that. So. And then your brake too, like if you, if you want to, you know, <laughs> I, I feel like everyone already probably does this, but, um, again, I used to, I used to run my rear brake pedal way too low and you want to have it so you can stop where, where it engages like around level with your peg. Mine's actually, I think a little bit too low right now. I can really tell when I'm riding the bike. Um, that's about where it starts to engage and that's too low for me. So I need to, need to adjust that, um, and that just, again, that just makes it so you can get to your brake pedal in any position on the bike, whether you're sitting, standing, especially on a hill descent. All right, guys, so that should be about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, as always, till next time, keep riding.